Statistics are a handy tool in this age of information, useful to uncover risks and important correlations. Salesmen distort them, as do pressure groups and quacks. They're misused in the media and in political attacks. Among the lies and damned lies is a trick that takes a biscuit, the beguiling use of half-truths that's just lying with statistics. If you want an opinion poll to show that you've got ample support for your point of view, then base it on a sample of multiple respondents who have all been self-selecting with an obvious built-in bias for which there isn't any correcting. Then you'll get the answer skewed just the way you wished it, but it isn't representative. It's just lying with statistics. If you want to cause controversy, contention, fear, and doubt, then why not quote some figures that no one can work out? like the number of illegal immigrants in this country at one time, or how many dangerous strangers lurk maliciously online. It's approximated guesswork, however much you might insist it, so to quote it as undoubted fact is just lying with statistics. If you want to make a small effect sound like something bigger, just relate it in percentage terms to another tiny figure. A risk that's two in a million will obviously represent increasing a one in a million risk by 100%. If you tell folk that the danger's doubled, they'll just not want to risk it. But not saying that the risk's still small, it's just lying with statistics. If you're selling dietary supplements as health-promoting pills, with no conclusive evidence of curing any ills, there's bound to be some poorly run trial from long ago, showing up some small effect that other trials do not show. You can quote this honestly, even though you cherry-picked it, but leaving out the other trials is just lying with statistics. When meeting a statistic, about which you have some doubt. Ask yourself, whose claim is this? And how do they work it out? Is there some crucial fact they've chosen to leave out? Has the subject changed between the stats and what the claim's about? Always check the detail and how interests try to twist it, because using numbers without context is just lying with statistics.